Record access determines which individual records users can view and edit in each object they have access to through their profile or through permission set and permission set group assignments. A couple questions an admin should be asking. Should your users have access to every record within objects they have access to or just a subset? If it's just a subset, what rules should determine whether a user can access certain records or not? These questions are important to control record access precisely for visibility and security requirements. Let's first review the difference between object access and record access to make sure that we understand the difference here. Object access is like a driver's license. It gives you permissions to drive a car, but not every car. You can drive your own car or a car that someone has shared to you. If we go back to objects as a table of data, like this spreadsheet, object access gives us access to the table itself. Now, once a user has access to that table or object, record level access determines which individual records or rows within that spreadsheet users can view and edit. Now, record access starts with whether a user is the record owner or not. Record owners have special privileges to their own records. This is called full access. However, access to records a user does not own is determined by the organization-wide defaults, or what I like to call OWDs or org-wide defaults, and this is set object by object. Org-wide means that this will affect all users. Admins use OWDs to lock down record access to other users' records at the most restrictive level. Then admins can use different other record level security tools and features to grant access to selected users as required. So these different tools or layers include first, using a role hierarchy. Role hierarchies ensure that managers, directors, and VP levels have access to the same records as their reports or subordinates. Each role in the hierarchy is going to represent a level of record access that a user or a group of users need. Another layer is sharing roles. Sharing roles are exceptions to the OWDs to expand access to additional groups of users to give them access to records they don't own or don't have access to. And another layer that we can utilize is manual sharing. Manual sharing lets record owners give access to users who might not have access to the record any other way. To recap, record access determines which individual records users can view and edit in each object they have access to. There is a baseline level of access if a user owns the record, compared to a baseline level of access set by the admin if they do not own the record in each object they have access to. From there, different tools and features can be used to help grant access where needed for different types of users and different scenarios.